been performing magic for over 40 years. He's won multiple awards and competitions, as well as being made Perpetual Magician of the Year by his local magic club. He has had effects and routines published in most of the major magazines, magic magazines, and for a year and a half wrote the painfully obvious column for Magic Magazine. He is a scholar, philanthropist, and humanitarian. He is also a pathological liar. So please, <laughs> put your hands together and welcome to our stage that purveyor of Jake Japes, Cheap Tricks, and Minor Amazements, Master Payne. by now, I'm not as good as the guy in the next room who's getting eaten <laughs> but no, I'm something of a cynic, sad, but true, wasn't always this way, no, no, in my youth, I was full of hopes and dreams and aspirations, I could have been somebody. <laughs> but then <coughs> I found this. <laughs> My very first magic catalog. On its surface, an innocuous little folio full of unrealized wonders. I soon, however, was to discover it was a dark doorway <laughs> to a dismal lamp. <laughs> Shattered dreams, <laughs> broken promises. Oh, take this one for example. I'm sorry, you're sitting a little too far away. You can't read that. Don't worry. I've had it blown up <laughs> so that we all might share in the misery. <laughs> Easy coin and bottle. Amazing magic at its best. Truly a fooler dueler. A coin is put inside a real glass Coke bottle. Everything can be examined and passed the closest of scrutiny. A reputation maker. No skill required. Five dollars. I know that doesn't sound like much now, but this was 1971. Five dollars was a substantial chunk of change, especially to an innocent, trusting 11-year-old child. <laughs> but I had to have it. How cool was that? If I could put a coin inside a Coke bottle, I'd finally have friends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, more friends. <laughs> I already had lots of friends. Don't listen to my mother. <laughs> so I saved for a whole month and sent off my allowance to the magic company, and I waited. On the way back from the post office, I bought me a Coke. It came in one of these. I bet none of you have ever seen, oh, I'm sorry, I forget where I am. It's a magic convention. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you've all seen one of these before. I'm just not used to being the youngest guy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Tasted better in glass, but let's make sure that this is a real glass Coke bottle user. Is that real solid glass? Be careful, it's, it's, it's ancient. I could probably get like $75 on eBay for that, but that's a, it's a real Coke bottle rush. Yeah. Play along, you can't think of any way you could get a coin in that bottle? No, none at all. Well, that's why I don't ruin it for okay. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I had to spend $5 and wait. I ran up to the room, and I opened it. 
Can you hear that? Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's a sound of potential. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointment. <laughs> I've kept it all these years as a reminder of the folly of man. Fingers are bigger now that I'm grown up. shop wouldn't purposely rip off an innocent 11-year-old child. We were a brotherhood. So I read the ad again, and oh yes, I saw my mistake. It just said a coin, not an American 50 cent piece. I was lured in by the obviously tremendous refractive qualities of the catalog and only assumed it meant a 50 cent piece. So clearly, entirely on me, I learned my lesson. I needed to read the ads much more closely. And so, when I turned the page, there it was, staring me in the face, coin and cork bottle, better than coin and bottle, amaze your friends. A real 50 cent piece is placed inside a sealed and corked Coke bottle. Totally new method that will fool those who know. As seen on TV, easy to do, 15 <laughs> That was a month's worth of allowance and a month and a half of lawn mowing money combined. But I had them this time. It was a real 50 cent piece. I read it a thousand times. Real 50 cent piece inside a coat bottle. And so I scrimped and saved. I lived like a monk. <laughs> and I sent my money off. In change, I got a 50 cent piece. Ooh, I know. Pretty. Actually, now what's sad, I, I had a show the other day and I gave a child one of these and he had no idea what it was. <laughs> Is that a, that's a real 50 cent piece. It's not one of those fake plastic ones that roll up. Really. And there's also a cork. There's a cork there. It's a real cork. Nothing, no shit inside there or anything. Okay, all right. So, I was set. I had my coin. I had my cork. I had my bottle. All I needed was that secret that I had paid Four weeks, four long, arduous weeks. And finally, it came. There was a box on the kitchen table. I ran upstairs. I ripped it open, and they did it to me again. <laughs> what the hell was this? <laughs> comes in plastic bottles, you can't get it in one of these anymore, unless it's from Mexico. <coughs> but <coughs> we'd never, since 1971, we'd never seen Coke in a plastic bottle, and you didn't for very long, because these things outgassed like crazy. But they were just on the market long enough for some shyster to figure out a way to use them to pry the hard-earned money out of the grubby little hands of innocent 11-year-old children. Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> Sir! That is indeed your name. Is that... Sealed completely with that cork. Just say yes. Yes! Is that solid bottom? Very good. That's still a real 50 cent piece. Watch this! There it is, right inside. Listen, listen to that quality. I think you're impressed. 
that's like, angles are bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was no way I could perform this on the playground. I'd get beat up. <laughs> I know, because I performed this on the playground. <laughs> Most people would have given up. <laughs> Abandoned magic, learned their lesson, got on to lead lives dealing with matters of consequence. But not me. <laughs> I had a mission. I was going to find a way to put a 50 cent piece inside a Coke bottle. I didn't care how much it cost. <laughs> <laughs> the pump. <laughs> A proud corner and real bottle, not like those other two. <laughs> Everything can be examined. A real American 50 cent piece is put inside a real glass Coke bottle. No special or trip coins used, totally on gimmick bottle, like no other method on the market. It just goes right in as seen at FISM. I had no idea what that meant. <laughs> $75. That was six months of allowance, a whole summer's worth of lawn mowing money, birthday and Christmas money combined. <laughs> but it was going to be mine. <laughs> I sent my money in, and I waited. I waited, and I planned my revenge, my show. <laughs> Three months. Three long, endless, ran upstairs, I ripped it open, a little part of me died that day. <laughs> After all these years in magic, 
but I am not an effort.